on our meditation challenge today, I am here to speak to the power that is at work within you. There is a power that your creator, the almighty God, had deposited within you that you need to begin to engage with. And as we go through this meditation process today, declaring the word of God, that power will be activated. That power will begin to work for you, begin to work in you to make mighty testimonies, blessings flow into your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Welcome to the day four of our meditation challenge. My name is Olumide Odesoya, and I want to thank everyone that has been joining us in this broadcast every single day. I want to assure you that your life is being transformed. You are becoming who God says you are, and you are receiving what God had prepared for you through the power of his word in the name of Jesus. Amen. Remember on this platform, as we usually would say, that our ability to declare the word of God is the process of meditating on the word, pondering the word, muttering the word, digesting the word, receiving life, nutrients from the word. So as we declare the word of God, according to Joshua 1, 8, it says, This book of the Lord shall not depart out of your mouth, but you will meditate on it day and night to observe, to do according to all that is written therein. Then you will make your way prosperous and you will have good success. So as we meditate, and putting the words on our lips as we declare the word together. The power to do the word is released upon your life and then ultimately the power to prosper and to succeed in a very good way. We also receive in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So today our meditation scripture is Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. The focus of our declaration today is power power. The Bible says where the word of a king is, there is power. You are a king unto God, you are a priest. God has invested his ability within you. You are unstoppable. Your word is powerful. Your person is powerful. That is you being like a tree planted by the rivers of water because you delight yourself in the law of the law. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 says, Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you ask or think according to the power that worketh within us. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you ask or think according to the power that worketh within you. Declare with yourself and say to yourself, Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that I ask or think according to the power that worketh within me. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding and abundantly above all that you ask or think according to the power that is at work within you. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you can ask or think according to the power that is at work within you. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you can ask or think according to the power that is at work within you. I call for that power. I speak to that power by the power of the word of God, by the revelation and the spirit of God upon Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. The power of God that is a domain that is within you, that is domicile, that is resident within you. Today that power is activated. That power begins to attract favor, attract blessings, attract help, attract divine support to you in the name of Jesus. When you speak by that power within you, authority will flow, power will flow, help will come in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you can ask or think according to the power that is at work within you. Work in this power. Take this power to your place of work. Take this power to your offices. Take this power to the marketplace. Take this power into your ministry and see the mighty hand of God make things work for you and work in your favor. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Thank you once again for being a part of the meditation challenge today. 